Okay, so we looked at square numbers recently. We're going to now step up to cube numbers. So 2 cubed is written with a little 3 up there. And this means 2 times 2 times 2. And we work that out. 2 times 2 is 4. Times 2 again is 8. Okay, so just like squares have a little 2, cubes have a little 3. And you'll notice now there are three of them multiplied together. Um, they're called cubes for a very similar reason as to why square numbers are called square. If we imagine a cube, which I'll now have to draw super accurately using my mad skills. If I chop this square, this cube up so that it's got two rows. So this is too tall, this is too deep and too wide. If you build that up, you'll find there are eight little blocks in there, okay? And that's why they're called cube numbers, because it's to do with the volume of a cube. Uh, just like there were square roots, there are also cube roots. So the cube root is the same ticky symbol, but you write a little three there. The cube root of eight is two, because it's the same as this fact. In the UK, again, there's an expected list to be known. And it's just the five of them. Are required to be known. 1 times 1 times 1 is 1. 2 times 2 is 8. 3 times 3 is 9. Times 3 again is 27. 4 times 4 is 16. Times 4 again is 64. 5 5 is 25. Times 5 is 125. So that list is meant to be something that's memorised by a UK student, uh, sorry, possibly just in England. Check the exam boards. And just like we're meant to know our square roots, we're meant to know our cube roots. So the cube root of 125 is 5. Okay, now you can see a pattern here. Uh, when we did 6 squared, we had two sixes. When we did 2 cubed, we had three twos. So this can actually carry on. These things here are called powers or indices. So this is a power of 2, this is a power of 3, or the index is 2, the index is 3. These can carry on. So 2 to the 8 is a thing we can work out. It hasn't got a nice name like square or cube, but it's 2 to the power of 8. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's 8 twos all multiplied together. And if we take care, we can work this out. 2 twos are 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16, times 2 is 32, times 2 is 64, times 2 is 128, times 2 again is 256. So the 2 to the 8 is 256. And just like there are cube roots, there is an 8th root. The 8th root 256 is whatever number multiplied by itself eight times gets you 256. Well, we've just worked it out, we know it's two. None of these higher powers are required to be known by heart by the exam board, but you are expected to know how to work them out, which means multiply these things together. And if, it's, if you've got a calculator to hand, just put it through a calculator. Um, enjoy.